Welcome back to UTC AI Studio, AI-powered, creativity-fueled. Today, we're looking at something big, and I mean 145 pages of big. Google DeepMind dropped a detailed report on how we can keep artificial general intelligence safe and secure. It's called An Approach to Technical AGI Safety, and it's packed with insights on how to build smarter AI without accidentally creating something we can't control. Sounds intense? Yeah, it is. But don't worry, I've gone through the whole article so you don't have to. Because let's be real, reading 145 pages of technical safety talk isn't exactly a thrill ride. We will cover the key insights of the paper, the hot takes, and even throwing in a few fun hypotheticals, including what might happen if AI starts thinking a little too far ahead of us. So grab your popcorn, this one's a ride through how some of the world's smartest minds are working to keep AI aligned with humanity. Let's dive in. A groundbreaking paper from Google signals a major shift in how tech giants are approaching artificial intelligence development and safety, particularly regarding artificial general intelligence, in short AGI. The paper emphasizes significant benefits of AGI, while posing significant risk factors that we need to start preparing for AGI right now. As of today, there is no time to delay due to its impacts. This includes risks of severe harm, incidents consequential enough to significantly harm humanity. This paper outlines the approach to building AGI that avoids severe harm. Google defines AGI as systems matching or exceeding the 99th percentiles of skilled adults across non-physical tasks, encompassing conversational abilities, reasoning, and self-improvement capabilities. It was very interesting because Google states they see no fundamental blockers preventing AI from reaching human-level capabilities. On the other hand, we have Arkin other experts like Jan Lekun, according to whom text-based models cannot achieve AGI. The timeline presented is particularly noteworthy, with Google suggesting powerful AGI could emerge by 2030, which is just five years away from today. This projection aligns with Ray Kurzweil's prediction of 2029, but is more conservative than estimates from OpenAI's Sam Altman and Anthropic CEO Dario Amodebayi, who anticipate AGI arriving between 2026 and 2027. Google emphasizes that given these potentially short timelines, safety measures must be implementable quickly within current machine learning pipelines. They also spoke about the feedback loop or acceleration in which automated R&D enables the development of greater numbers and efficiency of AI systems, enabling even more automated R&D, kicking off a runaway positive feedback loop. And they talked about such scenarios would drastically increase the pace of progress, giving us very little calendar time to notice and react to issues. To ensure we still notice and react to novel problems, their approach to risk mitigation may involve AI taking on more tasks involved in AI safety. And further mentioned, while their approach in this paper is not primarily targeted at getting to an AI system that can conduct AI safety R&D, it can be specialized to that purpose. The paper outlines four primary risk categories that demand immediate attention. First is misuse, where humans intentionally direct AI toward harmful purposes. For example, an AI system might help a hacker conduct cyber attacks against critical infrastructure. Second is misalignment, where AI systems act against developer intentions. For example, AI might give answers that sound convincing to humans, even though it knows they're wrong, as we see in movies. Third are mistakes where AI causes unintentional harm due to complex real-world interactions. For example, an AI agent running the power grid may not be aware that a transmission line requires maintenance and so might overload it and burn it out, causing a power outage. Fourth are structural risks, where harm emerges involving multiple people, organizations, or AI systems interacting in unforeseen ways, which would not have been prevented simply by changing one person's behavior, one system's alignment, or one system's safety controls. A particularly concerning revelation is the potential impossibility of making models completely resistant to jailbreaking attempts. This vulnerability persists despite extensive safety measures, as demonstrated by security researchers who routinely bypass protections within hours of deployment. The paper suggests this might be an inherent characteristic of AI systems rather than a temporary limitation. Google proposes several safety approaches to address these challenges, they mentioned at a high level. Their objective is to reduce the risks of severe harm occurring via misuse by making it difficult or unappealing for entities to inappropriately access dangerous capabilities of powerful models. 
Access restrictions would limit powerful AI capabilities to verified or qualified users and specific use cases, like how driver's licenses regulate vehicle operation. In this scenario, we may need an AI license to get access. They also talked about monitoring systems would flag inappropriate access attempts to dangerous capabilities and response to such attempts to prevent them from successfully using this access to cause severe harm. The paper details specific misalignment scenarios that pose significant risks. Specification gaming occurs when AI exploits flaws in reward signals. For example, finding unintended ways to maximize points in games rather than playing as intended. Goal misgeneralization happens when AI pursues unintended objectives in new situations, like an AI trained to collect coins by moving right, continuing to move right even when coins appear elsewhere. The concept of sleeper agents represents another concerning possibility where AI systems appear safe but activate harmful behaviors under specific conditions. This relates to alignment faking, where AI might mimic desired values while concealing conflicting goals. Anthropics research demonstrated this possibility, though in their case, the base model reverted to beneficial behavior rather than harmful actions. They also talk about very interesting method, unlearning. The most intuitive intervention to prevent model capabilities in a domain is to filter out the data from which those capabilities are learned before training. However, this requires classifying every piece of huge training data as harmless or harmful, which is expensive and will likely be somewhat inaccurate. Gradient routing aims to avoid this issue by encouraging the network to learn undesired capabilities in a localized portion of the network, which can be deleted after training. If the label noise is not too high, Undesired capabilities learned from data incorrectly labeled as harmless would still be absorbed by the localized portion of the network. They do talk about recently developed unlearning methods try to remove or edit out unwanted conceptual knowledge or capabilities from a trained model's weights. Strategies for unlearning may use language model fine-tuning techniques such as adding low rays or supervised training on completions but it is contested whether any of these unlearning papers introduce methods that truly remove knowledge from models' weights or more generally achieve as strong results as they claim. They also talked about addressing model misalignment. Misalignment occurs when the AI system produces harmful outputs for intrinsic reasons that the designer or user would not endorse. There are two possible sources of misalignment. Specification gaming, in which the designer provided specification is flawed in a way that the designers did not foresee, and goal misgeneralization, in which pursuit of an undesired goal arises in situations which are out of distribution compared to training. We spoke about this point earlier, where AI finds unintended ways to maximize points in games rather than playing as intended. Human bias in AI training presents additional challenges. Under RLHF, the AI is optimized to generate responses that the human rater endorses. Psychological research, however, has shown that human judgment and decision-making is influenced by biases and heuristics, sometimes leading to suboptimal decisions that, upon deeper reflection, humans would not endorse. These biases are likely to affect human judgments, making it more challenging for a reward model to learn a true model of human preferences and values. For example, a documented bias in reward model is a length bias. Humans tend to prefer longer is better, even when they are less accurate. This highlights the complexity of using human feedback for AI alignment. To address these challenges, many proposed innovative oversight methods could be pursued. But Google is intended to focus on their work on debate frameworks because of the combination of its compelling theoretical properties to allow them to study some aspects of AO before we have superhuman AI and because LLMs allow them to empirically study some aspects of how debate may work in practice, and stated they are more hopeful about improving oversight signals through debate than in their ability to understand and control generalization to the degree necessary to rely on the oversight scheme. This approach acknowledges that AI operations may become too complex for direct human monitoring, necessitating AI-assisted oversight as continued theoretical investigation into debate protocols is crucial focusing on addressing issues like path-dependent lying, obfuscated arguments, and other novel strategies that may offer an advantage to a dishonest debater. The paper also emphasizes sleeper agents. Variants of reinforcement learning are among the most popular post-training techniques for language models. Stress tests the assumption, if there's a set of inputs on which the model behaves badly, we can train away this bad behavior using standard reinforcement learning techniques. 
also spoke about to perform their stress test, train coding models with a backdoor behavior. The models insert code vulnerabilities only when the input prompt says the current year is 2024. It recollects me bond where he gets activated only to a specific code. Then, do standing reinforcement learning fine-tuning to teach the models to be helpful, honest, and harmless. Even after Triple H fine-tuning, the models still insert code vulnerabilities for input prompts with the year 2024. Thus, we can't rely on existing Triple H reinforcement learning techniques to remove secret backdoor behaviors. In conclusion, Google talked about the transformative nature of AGI that has the potential for both incredible benefits as well as severe harm. As a result, to build AGI responsibly, it is critical for frontier AI developers to proactively plan to mitigate severe harms. In this paper, Google outlined an approach towards technical mitigations for misuse and misalignment. For misuse, Google approach centers around blocking malicious actors' access to dangerous capabilities. For misalignment approach has two prongs. Firstly, aim to better understand the reasons behind an AI system's actions which can help Google oversee it. Secondly, aim to harden the environments in which AI systems act. Many of the methods discussed in this paper are still new and come with a lot of unanswered research questions. And as such, there is still much work to be done to mitigate severe risks. Google hopes that this paper can help the broader community to join them in enabling them to safely and securely access the potential benefits of AGI. As we can see, Google advocates for shared research and coordinated safety measures to address these universal challenges. Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe UTC AI Studio. AI powered, creativity fueled. Signing off for now, until next time, stay curious and stay wildly creative.